The Hidden Costs of Atomic Energy. Reviewed April 2014. Previous videos in this channel show that the atomic energy real cost is never known. Normal operation of the plants continuously generates radioactive residues. Wastes are not disposed of, and keep on accumulating, in some cases for more than 60 years. How high can be the costs of the required disposition, neglected so often? Recent data will be shown on the following slides. In Great Britain, a review from The Economist. Britain is paying dearly for neglecting its nuclear waste. Swilling around murky ponds, in the oldest part of Sellafield, a nuclear research and reprocessing center in Cumbria, is a soupy, radioactive sludge. For years Boffins, working on Britain's first military and civil nuclear programs, abandoned spent fuel and other nastiness into the pools and tanks, which now grow decrepit. Sellafield is the trickiest of several challenges facing the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority. Sellafield alone costs £1.7 billion, $2.8 billion a year. On March 31, NDA awarded a £7 billion contract to decommission 12 more of Britain's oldest reactor sites over 14 years to a consortium including Babcock, a British engineering firm, and Fleur, an American one. The same figures appear in World Nuclear News. A pro-nuclear publication supported and made possible by the members of the World Nuclear Association. A joint venture between Cavendish Nuclear and Fluor Corporation has been selected to handle the £7 billion decommissioning of the UK's Magnox power plants, as well as several nuclear research facilities. Every nuclear power plant must be decommissioned at the end of its authorized operative life because its materials are highly contaminated. The required operations imply substantial costs, many times disregarded. A current case in the USA. A report from KBPS Public Radio. The closure of the San Onofre nuclear power plant has opened up a number of new questions. Among them are what the process of decommissioning will entail. And will ratepayers ever see any kind of refund? Last night was the first meeting of an 18-member decommissioning advisory panel for San Onofre. And tomorrow, the owners of the closed plant will meet with ratepayer advocates to try to hammer out a financial settlement for ratepayers. Ratepayers advocates submit official objection to San Onofre settlement to cost ratepayers $3.3 billion. These amounts are part of the energy cost. Theoretically, companies should anticipate and accumulate the amounts needed in a reserve fund. In practice, this does not happen, and the state or users end up paying. The problem takes on global dimensions when wastes stem from accidents. Insurance is useless in such cases. Even policies taken up by individuals do not cover damages caused by nuclear reactions, nuclear radiation, or radioactive contamination. Reports from World Nuclear News on the works done in Chernobyl. June 2013. A steel arch weighing 3,800 tons is being lifted at the Chernobyl site in Ukraine. The entire completed structure weighing some 31,000 tons will be creating a means of confining dust and debris from dismantlement. However, the structure is not designed for radiation shielding. Gamma radiation doses outside of the NSC will be about the same as they are now. April 2014. The first half of the Chernobyl Arch has been assembled. It is now being gradually moved to make way for construction of the other half. The NSC, which is being funded by the international community, 
is designed to last at least 100 years, by which time most of the decommissioning work on Unit 4 should be completed. In short, a large international funding effort is being implemented to allow dismantling works, for a century, in a vault that would confine dust and debris but not the gamma radiation. What will really happen, in those 100 years? The costs of the decommissioning itself would overcome enormously those of the vault. For the time being it is impossible to predict them. Information on what happens with the cleanup in Japan was shown in this channel on a clip in Spanish, titled, Fukushima, Los Costos del Desaster. The next slide is the English original of one appearing there, and the following one, provides more recent information. Fukushima decontamination and cleanup, estimated at $50 billion. Experts from the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology have been studying the situation and have come to the conclusion that the decontamination efforts would cost around $50 billion. This is more than four times the amount that Tokyo Electric Power Company and the central Japanese government have at earmarked for the cleanup efforts. A nuclear watchdog team of the International Atomic Energy Agency confirms the complexity of the problem. It will be nearly impossible to ensure the time for decommissioning such a complex facility in less than 30 or 40 years, as it is currently established in the roadmap. They still have to develop technology and equipment that can operate under fatally high radiation levels to locate and remove melted fuel. Multi-million amounts are spent in the primary management of operative wastes and materials of the contaminated structures. But that is not enough, since all these materials retain their radioactivity, and their final destination should be resolved somehow. The biggest problem, is that there is no general agreement, on a possible final destination that could be accepted as safe. In the United States, a stable repository for nuclear waste was projected at Yucca Mountain, with a planned budget of $100 billion. The activities begun, and over 10 billions were actually spent, but because of the risk of contamination, the project was rejected by the people of Nevada, and in 2011 construction work was halted. In 2014 some activities oriented to geological research were resumed, with limited funds. Another option handled, by NASA, was to send the waste to the space or the sun. The cover of the NASA technical paper on the subject is displayed, as well as the first two pages of its abstract. The option was discarded. Costs were impracticable, and a disaster like the Challenger would scatter the waste on the ground. Instead of being solved, the general problem would deteriorate to a level of global catastrophe. The above examples confirm that the hidden costs of nuclear energy are substantial, and that, in some cases, limits cannot even be determined. Above considerations, apply to atomic plants based on nuclear fission. Nuclear fusion is an interesting alternative, and its problems are not so overwhelming. Unfortunately, the nuclear fusion has been neglected surely because it had no military applications. See in this channel, atomic energy, fission or fusion, 